we have light. <laughs> I'm Max and this is Sophie and welcome back once again to our van build. And this is the week you've all been waiting for when we finally finish our ceiling. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so we need to get our ceiling slats up, lights wired in, cut all the weird fancy angles out. Yep. And hopefully it'll be done by the end of this video. Let's go! Ooh. So there's a test of our puck ceiling lights. They're very warm yellow colour. Yeah, they're a nice, nice temperature. So the next thing on our list to look at is the lighting in the ceiling, so we can put the ceiling up. Electrics. So we need to run a few cables and uh, get them kind of not actually wired in, but get the cables in place, ready to wire them in after we put the ceiling up. Yeah, because they run behind the ply and behind our ceiling slats, so we need to get to them now because we can't do it afterwards like all the other electrics. Exactly. So that's what's next. Yeah. We've got some electrical plans behind us that Max has drawn up. He's very proud of those, it's taken a very long time. 12 volt, 24 volt, all sorts of craziness going on there. Your head is glowing. Electrics. Okay, we've now put these little tabs everywhere. And where there's a little tab, there's going to be a light. So we've got a wide section here, which is over the cooker and the seating area. And then the narrower section running down here, the walkway, and then in the bed section, we have another four over the bed. Happy. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> so we've put a couple of small holes in our ceiling. Um, they're going to be lined up with some of these slats we're putting on the roof, at which point a cable will come down through those holes. And then for the rest of the lights, we're going to route out a groove in the back of the slat where the cable will run. Um, but we'd need to get to those points and those runs behind the ply. So we're running in those key cables now and then the rest will run kind of easier to get to. In an easier to get to place. The rest will run... <laughs> You're doing so well. The rest will run in an easier to get to place. Cool. So what is your job now? I don't know, I'm holding wire. <laughs> oh, it's freezing today. We're back and it's like first proper frost. Um, so gloves and hats and everything in the van. We've had to put a heater on. It's getting difficult. <laughs> um, and we also had a late night trying to figure out Obviously the bus runs on 24 volt and we were running the lights on 24 volt and Max stayed up really late last night trying to figure out maybe we should change it to 12 volt. So it's all been a bit crazy. So um, we're carrying on with our wiring <laughs> and uh, we'll figure out the rest later. What did you just do? Uh, ran some cable through these holes so that we can pop some lights on the end of these. And then we've also got the uh, the excess to go to the power that's coming out here because we want to run bedroom lights separate to the main lights so we can have some ambiance in an evening. How much of this do we want hanging down? Thank you. Yeah. Now that we have finished the overcab storage while well, it's painted and drying, yeah, um, <laughs> we have moved on to our ceiling slats. And we've been waiting for this day to come for what feels like forever now. It's taken a long while to get to this stage, and yes. Not quite sure how we got here, but we're here. <laughs> um, and we've just laid them all out on the workbench. Yeah, so we're checking um, for the curvature of them. Obviously, they will have a curving because it's wood, uh, but if you get all the curves the same way, it doesn't make it feel like the, the gaps in between are wonky. So we're trying to get them all to curve one way or the other, and then we'll put them in the van. Yeah, we'll start getting them in today. Oh, God. 
Most of them are pretty good actually. This one here is not. <laughs> So yes. Max is countersinking. No, he's already countersinking. Blech. Max is drilling some pilot holes for some self drilling screws to go straight into our ribs. And they're going to hold our slats up. I mean, that looks pretty good, <laughs> doesn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday we got our first ceiling slat up, which we're really happy with, um, which is our central one. Um, so today we're going to look at our over cab storage, our overhead cupboards and more ceiling slats in no particular order to get them all up and installed. Hey. Okay, so this is proving more difficult than we thought. We're trying to put a back on these cupboards to fill this space here. Um, we've tried cutting ply and putting it in and trying to tuck it behind the ceiling, which is what we thought we were going to do. Um, and it just isn't sitting right. So now what we're going to do is put this in, install it, and then hopefully try and find a way just to fill the back. So wish us luck. So next part of backing it once it is installed is actually trying to install it. So we're going to chop the end off here because we made it slightly too long because we didn't know what the over cab storage was doing. So this is going to get chopped off here and then it'll fit and interact with the overcab storage perfectly. Won't it? That's a yes. Mmm, nice cut. Unfortunately, this didn't go all the way through, so let's get the handsaw out. This isn't getting the overhead cupboards attached to the van. Procrastination. <laughs> right, it's all ready to go up. Yeah, we've chopped the end off. We made sure it's gonna fit with the over cab storage. It's all gonna go in the right places. So let's stick it to the ceiling. We're gonna screw it in place. Screw you in place. new day and we are back um it got really cold and dark last night so we didn't quite show you guys what we uh, finished but here's sophie to show you what we did we have got our two sides of overhead cabinet tree up which is really strong not going anywhere in the van um and I'm quite proud of it we also did a little bit of uh, ceiling so that's so you're starting to get kind of the the vibe of what it's going to look like um, really excited how this is turning out. So hopefully we can keep all the wood straight and not wonky and it's going to look great. That's what we're doing for the rest of the day. So we stopped last night because the next couple of slats are going to be a bit different to these ones. Um, they're going to run down here and as you can probably tell it's where our lighting is going to go. So we need to put holes in for the lights but we also need to route like a cable hole down the middle um, and the cable's actually going to run sort of flush to the ceiling behind the slat in a little groove. So we need to do that. Groovy. Groovy. Those overhead cupboards had been in for approximately 40 seconds and I stepped up and banged my head on it. New signage. Very important. <laughs>
So now we've cut these two down to size, we're gonna dry fit them. So basically figure out where the ribs are so we can mark on where the screws are gonna go and also figure out where our lights are going so we can drill the larger holes into these for the little puck plates. So like we said, the next stage is to route out a groove in the back of these two because they are gonna have the lighting in and we have a fairly small cable that's gonna be recessed into the back of them. Um, so we're gonna use a router. We've just set up a bit of a guard which spaces out the right amount of space between this guard and the center of the wood for our router. And we've got the right size router bit in the router. Um, so we're just gonna work our way along now and that'll give us sufficient place, space to uh, have this sat in the back of this panel. Let's uh, get routing. So this is the groove that we've just routed out. And as you can see, our cable sits within it beautifully. So it'll be all nice and hidden. So we've figured out where these are gonna sit on the roof. Obviously they're not directly in line with each other, so ignore that, <laughs> we've measured that. And we now need to cut the places where the lights are gonna sit. Now they do need to be in line with each other because they are gonna sit sort of as a runway down the corridor in our van. So we've got the technical spec and we've got a 55 mil hole. We have our hole saw ready to go. And these are the lights we're doing. So you can see they're gonna be, or need to be really dead center because there's not a lot of overlap on these. Luckily, the hole we're drilling's smaller. So we've got a bit more wiggle room there, but we do need to get it as dead center as possible. So get the measuring tape out again. Hole saw for ceiling light take one. That was such a rubbish shot, I was like. <laughs> smells smoky. Max pulled a splinter and wrecked my painting. Shame on you. Shame. It's a new day, sorry we lost you yesterday guys, it got cold and all of our batteries died so we uh, stopped filming. But like I said, it's a new day, we are back and it's time to build a few more of these. We got this one strip with the puck lights in built yesterday, which we're really happy with. It took us a while to get it worked out exactly how we wired it, but now we have, we just have a few more to build. So now that we have recut this ceiling slat with the right curving it for around the uh, skylight at the front of the van. Um, we are gonna, just like we did yesterday, hole saw out the positions for the lights, route out a groove in the back for the cable, and then install all of the wiring and electrics into it. So here are our puck lights that we're using for all of our overhead lighting, so throughout the van and in our bedroom and all that kind of thing. Um, they're 2.8 watts, um, and they are small kind of reset, recessed LED, um, Puck lights. So now that we have our slats made with our puck lights in, it's time to fit them up in the ceiling and power them and see how they look. a lot of days, a lot of redoing and drilling and screwing, we have light. <laughs> yes. Well done you. I can see you now. You can see me. <laughs> Dance party. Bang. <laughs> well done, Max. He's a genius. It's just like a very clever guy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so this slat is a little bit annoying. We need to cut out this curved section for the skylight, and that's so we can keep all the straight edges and make sure they're all equally spaced out. 
otherwise Max would die. So Sophie's gonna jigsaw it. Oh Pew -pew. my god. So after what feels like weeks working on this ceiling, we are finally nearly done. Finally. finally. We've got the last couple of pieces to do today and then it should be finny day. Hopefully. What are you doing? So we are, I'm just drawing around these Wagos that we are routing out a space for in the back of the wood because the power cable comes down to feed these two lights. Junctions are in the two Wagos and then the cable for the second light runs down this groove into that. Nice and easy. Away goes the future. He loves himself away go. Who doesn't? You've got bits of wood everywhere. Yeah, a little bit. What have you made? Little pockets for my uh, way goes. And your wires. And my wires. Not pretty, but no one's ever going to see it. Apart from all you guys, I think. <laughs> so this is the last piece with lights in and it's going up here above the bed. And then hopefully the rest of it should be easy and quick to do. That's the theory anyway. So that is our ceiling complete. So we attached our ceiling with screws in every single rib um, and they are going straight into the metal of our van. Now, we did have a bit of a worry with this. Um, some of the ribs were kind of hard to screw into, but if we were doing it again, we would potentially put a wooden framework into our van before we started building, but we didn't this time. And it's fine, this is really, really solid. Um, it was just, probably would have been easier with a wooden frame. Another top tip we can suggest is around our skylight, we wanted to put a bit of a curve in some of the planks of wood. So it married up really nicely to the uh, surround frame on that. And for that, we use this gauge that you can kind of push up against something and it creates a pattern of what you're pushing up against that you can then transfer onto your wood and get a perfect match. And that's what we use on these two curved pieces here. As you're aware, as we we're building the uh, slatted ceiling, we were putting our putt flights into the top, which are now all powered up roughly and uh, working. Uh, so we have this kind of central run with a few extras spread out where the skylight was at the front of the van. And then we're going to have a separate kind of section on a different switch at the rear of the van over the bed. So we'll have it in a few different zones so we can turn some lights on and some lights off at different times. And for all of you shouting at your screens, it's not finished, there's a huge gap. That is because we are going to build another overhead cupboard. We've decided we want a bit more storage and um, we don't want to lose too much headroom over the bed but we figured we could sacrifice a little bit more here so I can have some more clothes. <laughs> it could be something else, it doesn't have to be clothes. Okay. It's definitely gonna be clothes. <laughs> so that is it. The ceiling is finally finished. Yes. And we think it looks pretty damn good actually. We're I'm really happy with it. So impressed with it. It took a lot of hard work, but it is completed. Yeah, so. Thanks again for watching this week guys and we will catch you again next Sunday. As always, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Mind your bubble hat. <laughs> and uh, if you have any useful tips or questions or anything like that, if you can drop them down below in the comments, um, we'll try and answer them. See you next week. <laughs>